All right, match four with zombies. And this hand is definitely keepable. Uh, we play 19 swamps in the deck, so the odds of us drawing a swamp turn one are about 80%. And uh, the second turn, it's a little bit lower. It's about 75% to draw the second swamp in a row. So we'll just get to go Carnophage into Wretched Android and just have plenty of land, so. Actually, we're gonna mulligan because everything I said was a lie, except for the 19 swamps part. Now we only have one creature in our hand, but I really don't want to go down to five, and I guess we have removal spells, so we'll hope those are useful. Another Sangrophage. I mean, I guess that could be our game plan. Just play a Sangrophage, play another one, and just kill ourselves, killing our opponent, and move the blockers out of the way with the removal spells we have. I mean, this is what we were signing it up for when we put Sangrophage in our deck. I guess we'll keep it on top. Alright, our opponent leads with Swamp. So this is either the meter match, which is exceedingly unlikely with how unpopular this deck is, um, or probably Mono Black Control. All right, we drew another removal spell. Not really what I wanted to see. But I guess if we just remove all their creatures for forever and they have a lot of creatures in their hand instead of removal spells, we might be able to beat them down. It's not likely though, since all the creatures they could have generate value. If they have Phyrexian Rangers, they're gonna start churning through their deck. If they have Chittering Rats, then they're gonna shut us off of drawing cards, so. Well, there's a rat. Gonna pay some life, bash for three, and I'm gonna let them have the rat for now, and plan on removing something next turn since they can't play a Grey Merchant yet, and they can't attack into a three-three unless they remove it. Liliana Specter. Okay, so what removal spell do we need the least? I guess the Nameless Inversion can hit the bin. Next question is, are we paying for both of these? And I think we are. I'm going to take a massive amount of damage and hope that our opponent is silly enough to try to double block here so we can get them. Unfortunately, they are not. I will pass the turn, let our opponent untap before we kill one of their creatures. Another Spectre. All right, so we need to remove the, the first Spectre. Kill that. Gonna have to discard another spell. We don't really care about the Chittering Rats right now, so I think we need to get rid of the Verdict. It does do an extra damage, which is nice. But I want the opportunity to be able to shoot down something specific. Like this Spectre or the uh, Grey Merchant that's going to come eventually. Alright, pay some life. Kill ourselves very quickly here. Alright. Give our opponent the option to chump block. And they will decline, apparently. Pass the turn. If they don't have a Tendrils of Corruption, we might be able to get lethal this turn. A Chittering Rats, okay. So I think I'm going to Verdict in response to prevent some damage being dealt to us this turn so that we're able to actually pay for these Sangrophages. Hide the Grasp on top. And then if they attack us with their other Chitter and Rats, then we get to move this one out of the way and win. I think that's our only real shot here. All right, they don't. So now if we pay, we're in trouble. If we don't pay, we're in even more trouble. If we pay, yeah. I'm going to end up paying, and I'm going to attack. 
because we're not just dead here. We're pretty dead though. The problem is that if they just chump block once, then we can't ever untap our Sangrophage unless we remove one of their creatures. So it looks like they are going to double chump block though. Maybe they have an Undying Evil of their own. A Disfigure. Okay. So we will shoot that out of the sky. And now they we have Lethal on board, sort of. We can't actually untap our creatures. We can only untap one of them. So we need to top deck a guest verdict and them not to gain any life. Or be able to block our Sangrophage. Or remove it at instant speed. So basically we need them to have only lands in hand. Chain Urge Edict hits us. That doesn't matter unless they have another Edict, since we weren't going to untap one of them anyway. So the upside of keep of untapping this, or keeping this untapped, is that it lets us win with a Guess Verdict. The downside is it makes us lose to a Grey Merchant or a Sign in Blood from our opponent. So I think I'm actually going to keep it tapped down for now. Alright, another Sanger Phage. We'll play it, I guess. It doesn't do a lot. Alright, they cycle a Baron more. We might have a chance to win this game, but it requires our opponent to draw really badly. So yeah, creatures are bad for us. Every, everything is bad for us here. So now we can't really keep these untapped either. If we tap both of them down and don't pay two life, then the Chittering Rats is going to hit us for two life anyway. So now we have to pay for one of them, not the other, and top deck exactly Geth's Verdict. Or just a generic removal spell, hit for three and then never untap these again and finish off our opponent some other way. All right. Going to attack our opponent, see if they chump block or not. They probably won't since we're dead on board. All right, they do. And now, since I have absolutely nothing that I can do with these creatures, I can never untap them again, I'm going to play the Wretched Anurid. I realize this is bad against them playing creatures, but if they play creatures, we're in trouble anyway because they'll just attack us for lethal the turn after they play them. So we're dead to two creatures, we're dead to Sign and Blood, we're virtually dead to a Tendrils of Corruption. But if our opponent just has nothing good again, then maybe we'll be okay. Oh wow, we won. It's really weird that our opponent just conceded there because we didn't actually have lethal on board. We can only attack for three. But uh, we'll take it. So last time we sideboarded, we got rid of these for two to rest, two undying evil. This opponent has disfigures though and didn't show us any um, Geth's verdict. So it makes the Carrion Feeder a little bit better than it otherwise would be in the other Mono Black Control matchup. I think I'm going to end up doing the same thing anyway. But if our opponent shows themselves to be really high on targeted removal instead of sacrifice removal, I might bring some number of these back in. And we'll submit this. Okay. This hand is awful. We've somehow drawn six of our 19 lands in our opening hand. So we're going to have to mulligan. All right, this hand is marginally better. Uh, we'd really like if that was a creature, but we can get it back with the Ghoul Caller's Chant. So maybe just nameless your creature, nameless your creature, Ghoul Caller's Chant back to back the two nameless will be good enough. Not good enough to win the game, obviously, but good enough to have a really good start at the beginning of the game and get some card advantage. All right, Liliana Spectre. We can ditch a land or a nameless. Probably a land. I don't think we're gonna need the fourth one before we draw another one. Always gonna give them the opportunity to chump block first if that's what they wanna do. Unless of course we're attacking for lethal, in which case we won't. All right, 
I'm going to do this main phase in case they decide they want to uh, bring in Undying Evil of their own. Alright, Phyrexian Rager. We're going to be paying for both of these creatures because we're most likely going to move the Rager out of the way since we don't have anything better to do right now. And we need to keep our Carnifacial around. Oh man, I meant to hit yes. Wow, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. I hit no instead of yes. Oh well. Um. I guess we have a different option now. I can instead offer to trade these off and play a slightly longer game. Now that they trade these off, I can play the other Sangrophage out and still have two targets with this Ghoul Colors chant. All right, so that's awkward that we did that. Pass the turn. Nameless also doesn't match up well against Grey Merchant, so if they just play land into that next turn, it's not great for us. We can two for one ourselves to get a Grey Merchant off the table, but we don't want to do that if we don't have to. Gurmag Angler, okay. Looks like we are going to be two for one ourselves, unless we draw exactly Grasp of Darkness or Geth's Verdict here. Either one would be very welcome, since we also have a one drop that we can deploy. Ghoul Colors chant, okay. I can't afford to just tap those down and take five, so I have to two for one myself to get this off the table. And I'd rather play Carnophage than chant yet. Once again, pretty scared of a Grey Merchant. Chittering Rats, that's a little bit annoying, it's not awful. I should have actually done this the other way around, because now if they had played a Liliana Spectre next, I would have rather discarded the, uh, um, the sorcery, the other sorcery, um, instead of this Ghoul Caller's Chant. Pay some life. Pay some life. And what can we bring back here? Nameless Sangrophage? Okay. We'll make any trades that they want to trade. If they double block, that's really good for us. If they double block the 3-3. Three, three. Alright, they're going to double block the 2-2. Two, two. Give us our choice. We'll get rid of the rats. More devotion. And what do we want to bring back? It'd be nice to get rid of the Phyrexian Rager with a Nameless, in case they do have a Grey Merchant, because it counts for a Devotion. Uh, it would also be nice to be able to get creatures. I think I'm going to go Sangrophage Nameless here. And the reason for that is I can play the Sangrophage, and then worst case scenario, if I draw a Swamp next turn, um, well, it's not the very worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is like, getting hit with another Chittering Rats or something. But if we draw normally, and we draw a Swamp next turn, then at least we get to play two removal spells. This is going to be very painful to try to keep up our offenses, though, since we have two Sangrophages now and we're only at 10 life. All right, Duress, Nabs, and Nameless. And they want to attack. So this could mean they have an Undying Evil and they want to draw some more cards. It could mean that they have a Ninjutsu card, Ink Eye or whatever. Um, pretty sure I'm going to just do this though. Or a Disfigure. I, I, I remember too late that it was Disfigure. However, I'm pretty sure I would have done that regardless if I had known they had this figure, because I can't afford to keep on paying life for all of these if they have like any amount of removal or anything to race me, so I think I'd rather get it out of their hand.
All right. This is not a zombie. I think the only thing that's a zombie in their deck is the angler and the gray merchant. The rat is just a rat. Yep. So do I blow up this so I don't take two from it? Or do I play the shepherd? I think I'm going to blow up the uh, Phyrexian Rager. I don't want to have to take two damage, like I said, because I'm having to already commit to another two to the Sangrophage untapping, so I'd rather just try to get in with Sangrophage two more times to win than try to do something weird with Shepherd. On Earth, it's Chittering Rats, forcing us to redraw Shepherd. Yeah, let's see what their follow up is. Oh, they do have the Ninjutsu card. So they had that in addition to the Disfigure. So I was going to be in trouble either way. All right. I have to untap this. I have to play Shepherd. The question is whether I have to attack or not. I think I do need to attack. If they take three, then maybe there's something I can do. They chump block, that's fine too. Do they have a Chainer's Edict? No, they don't. For those of you who don't know what this does, when it do deals combat damage to a player, they discard two cards and it ninjutsus for three and a black. It shows up very occasionally in mono black control lists as a one or two of. All right, they're just passing the turn here. So if I don't untap this, then I have a chance to uh, force a draw. This isn't a zombie, right? No, it's a rat ninja. Um, with a shepherd. If I do pay the life, then I'm kind of forcing our opponent to uh, trade with us, but then the shepherd gets a lot worse since we're farther down in life than they are, so I think I'm going to not pay for this Sangrophage on tap. It does mean that I'm taking three from Okiba if uh, I don't find a blocker for it, or that I'm potentially chump blocking the Okiba with Shepherd, but I think that's the best choice for me is to let the Sangrophage be tapped here. Even a guess verdict wouldn't be good enough for me. I guess it would, because I could do two damage with Shepherd, three with this, and one with the guess verdict. So that would be a reason to uh, keep it. But neither of the other two removal spells that I have in my deck would be good enough. A Ghoul Razor, okay. I think I want to do this before activating Shepherd, I'm pretty sure. Since I want to activate Shepherd on their turn. All right. Sangrophage, that's not what I was hoping to see at all. I was hoping to get back one of my uh, nameless inversions. Even a Carnophage would probably be better since it's cheaper to untap, but... So now I can potentially force a draw if they have nothing. I could Shepherd, untap Shepherd, and drain for three twice. And we could go to a new game. Gurmag Angler, okay. That's four zombies now instead of three. Is there a way I can turn this into a win for myself? If I drain for four, then I can't untap this. All right, they want to trade. I can't take the damage here. So I am going to block. The question is whether I'm going to activate Shepherd before or after. Do I want to drain for four? Or do I want to drain for three? I think I want to drain for three so I don't die to a, a sign in blood in their second main phase. If I drain for three, that they can sign blood themselves if they want to, but that doesn't do anything, I don't believe. Unless they draw something with that signing blood. It's cheap enough. All right, so drain for three. Please don't have a Tendrils of Corruption. There's no way that I'm beating that. All right, can't afford to untap this. Since then, any removal spell means that I drain for less than three, which would kill me, but not our opponent. A guest verdict. So I can actually make them die and not me here, can't I? This is sweet. So I'm going to take them to two and two zombies on the battlefield, activate the shepherd, and then win if they have absolutely nothing. All right, so if they have tendrils, I'm pretty dead, right? I'll just do this on their upkeep to make them do something then if they do have something. Did we get there with shepherd of rot? Come on, come on, come on, don't, don't tap your mana, don't do anything. 
Please say that that was enough. We go to one life and you go to zero. Oh yes, we won the match. Oh great. We uh, got the exact perfect top deck so that we were able to win that match instead of force a draw. Because I do believe we would have uh, been forced to force a draw and uh, play another game uh, if that had not happened. But we drew the guest verdict and we are two and two now and on to match five.